The holiday return rush is now on. Consumers are expected to take back more than $170 million worth of unwanted presents. But the thought of going to a shipper and getting in those lines to send those items back, it's pretty tough. That's why Uber has started a new package return program. ABC's Eva Pilgrim explains how it works. If you find yourself with a special gift like Clark from the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. What is it? It's a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Then now is the time to make those returns. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Companies like Uber are making what can be a daunting task easier with a new return a package feature, which they talk to us exclusively about. With returns, it's another hassle. Uh, for consumers today, and what we offer is that time savings. To see how it works, we gave it a try. Too small, sending it back. First, I package up my Amazon return address, too small for my daughter. Then, open the Uber app as if I'm going to order a car, but instead, hit this package icon. We've got a driver. 18 minutes away, it says. Once the driver arrives, I hand them my return package, and in this case, he takes it off to the local UPS store. The service can drop packages at UPS, FedEx, or USPS locations. It costs $5 a trip for up to five packages or $3 for Uber One members. If you are an Uber One member, we're running a holiday special. It is free returns all the way through January 6th. Known for its food delivery, DoorDash is also getting in on the return game. The company offering deliveries to UPS, FedEx, and USPS. It'll cost you $5 a trip for up to five packages, but through December 30th, DoorDash is offering free package pickups for all users. For our return with Uber, the driver texted us when he arrived to the UPS store and we were able to track his trip. Okay, I just got a notification that the driver has returned the package and he even took a copy of a receipt so that I can see that it was... An easy return and one less errand to run.